This is William K. Murtaugh, Mert Witness 1. And this is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Or the unhappy holidays. Mm. Now, why is it the unhappy mm. holidays? Well, mm. it's not the unhappy holidays for everyone. Mm. The majority mm. of us are going to be thinking about mm. Thanksgiving Day. Getting together with family and friends. Figuring out how we're going to do that because of the virus. Some of us are going to go to a daughter's house, a son's house, a mother's house, a father's house to celebrate Thanksgiving. Most probably will not follow the government mandates about restricting the number of people in the home and so on and so forth. They're going to travel, go through crowded airports, get on crowded airplanes, and go to crowded cities, and go to a crowded house. Some of us are going to go to the stores, start our Christmas shopping. We're worried about what are we going to get this person, that person for Christmas? Do we have enough money to buy somebody something for Christmas? What about Christmas cards? Will the Christmas cards get there in time? All kinds of thoughts that people have at this time of the year. What about the weather? Are we going to be able to drive to Grandma's house? Are they going to plow the roads? Is it going to rain, snow, sleet, hail? Is it going to be cold, hot? But there's going to be a son who is going to be doing something over the Thanksgiving holiday. That's not a happy chore. He's going to be planning what to do with his dead father. A father who was murdered because this father chose to interfere in the affairs of a woman. A woman who he got angry with. She got angry with him, I should say. And executed him. Now, on that fateful Sunday, not too long ago, it is alleged that this woman walked into this man's house, took a gun, shot him twice in the back, and he fell to the floor. He didn't die instantly. He was aware that he had been shot. And what was he looking at on the floor? The tile, the bottom of a cabinet, the bottom of a stove, maybe there's dirt on the floor. Or maybe he's seeing his own blood starting to pour out of him and spread out on the floor underneath him. But he knew. He knew he was probably going to die. And he said as much. And perhaps he was able to see the angry woman standing over him with a gum named at him. And had the realization that he was about to get shot again. And he was shot again. And his life ended at that time. Laying on a kitchen floor in his own home with people that were with him to perhaps have a dinner, to sit around, have a few drinks, talk about the things that they were interested in, engage in a little gossip, and whatever it is that these people did when they got together. That all came to an end that day. And there's a child that was in that house with, his, with their mother that witnessed having a gun pointed at their face, facing the prospect of dying at the point of a gun being operated by a very angry woman. Now, whatever public face they give to their situation, their social media posts and what have you, at night, when they're by themselves in their beds, they have to subconsciously wonder why it is they're alive today. 
What caused that gun to be jammed? To where the woman didn't murder them. Instead, while they ran and hid, she repaired the gun, went back to Chris Hallett, and executed him. Finished him off. And then she left. Now, Neely Blanchard herself is going to have an unhappy Thanksgiving. She's spending her Thanksgiving in the Marion County Jail in Ocala, Florida. 20 miles from the scene of the crime. Facing the prospect that she will never see her children again. There will be no Christmas with her children. No Christmas with her mother. No celebration. No going out on Black Friday and buying things on sale to give to her children. No presents. No Christmas carols. None of that. She won't be there Christmas Day. She will be in the Marion County Jail. There are going to be no New Year's parties. No Happy New Year 2021. Chris Allen will be dead, either cremated or buried. Just a memory to his family, friends, a martyr to some, a pariah to many others, a bungler who got himself involved in something he never should have had any business getting involved in, and he'll fade into distant memory. His children will go on. Eventually, they'll be able to get back to some, something resembling a normal life where they will celebrate their future Thanksgiving, their future Christmases, New Year's, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, graduations, what have you. But Chris won't be there. And neither will Neely Absuck. Neely Absuck will be in the Marion County Jail, and eventually in a Florida state prison, because his chances are very good that she is going to be convicted of murder, and she is going to be sentenced to spend quite a long time in a Florida prison. Haley's mother won't see her daughter ever. And there's a possibility that she may not get custody of the children. Could there may be a move for the custody to be taken away from her because she has a rather interesting past herself. But that's hard to say. But what about other people? The members of the task force, the members of the commands, the individual driving around in a car full of junk. What's going to be their future? That's hard to say. At present, these people can celebrate a happy Thanksgiving. They can have the turkey, the dressing, the pies, the cakes, the drinks, all of the decorations that come, and come with it. If they have the means, they can go and take advantage of the Black Friday sales. Buy trinkets and gifts for the loved ones that they have. Go visit their grandchildren, their daughters, their sons, their mothers, their fathers, their grandmothers, their grandfathers. They can worry about snow. They can worry about rain. They can worry about the cold. Because they have, they're able to. Even though it was them and their involvement to cause the suffering of the survivors of the dead man and the woman that murdered him. There's a woman in Colorado that faces a bleak future. Not seeing her children for any holidays, birthdays, anniversary, wedding, graduation, or what have you. She too has 
a suffering that she would go through because of the very same people that got involved with the woman who murdered Chris Hallett. There are many, many people out there who are going to face a blight future because of the high commands, because of the task forces, and the LLC that audited and in the process of their audits barged in on the affairs of people they had no business barging in on. And there's others out there today who continue to do these things, to barge in where they don't belong. The rank amateurs who make it so there will be that many more people that won't be able to celebrate a happy Thanksgiving, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And all those graduations and weddings and other events that take place in the course of people's lives. So hence we have the unhappy holidays. While the rest of us enjoying ourselves and who are among the living, I do wish you a happy Thanksgiving, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And reflect upon that on the day that we give thanks on Thanksgiving. That we are alive and well and are able to do that when there are others today who cannot. This is William K. Murtaugh. Mert went this one. Have a good one.